Now we move on to the part three of your exam, that is written exam. You ought to write all these problems in paper and submit it. You will have five questions. Three are known topics and two are bonus questions. They are undisclosed as of now. So now we will solve 21, 22, 23, all in writing. So they have asked you to solve system of equation by elimination, eliminating a variable by multiplication and addition. So now, since multiplication and addition is mentioned, we have to employ these two methods. Uh, we, have, we know how to do this directly in calculator. You can use that method to check your answer, but the solving must be written in detail. Now, this two are important. Multiplication. So, what do you multiply? You can see the coefficients are not same. You can't directly solve them. You can't add directly or subtract directly. What you need to do is, you need to try to get these two terms same. Now, since addition, you need to add in the second step. Make sure that the signs over here are not same. If you, the coefficients must be same. Say, for example, 3x and down it must be minus 3x. Don't multiply by minus 3 because it would be minus 3x minus 3x and then you have to subtract. So that will just make it more difficult. So the easier method would be look into this coefficient and the sign. The signs must be different. Are they different? Here it is plus because there is no sign that's plus. Here it's minus. Okay, sign, leave it. So all you need to do is multiply the top equation by this number. So these both must be equal. What do you need to multiply up to get 3x? That is multiplied by 3. But since you need to balance the equation, you just can't multiply in one spot. You need to multiply the entire equation. So it will be in brackets. This equation, leave it as it is. You do not touch that. Only the above equation, you multiply by 3. When you multiply 3 over here, it's going to be 3x plus 3y equals 2 times 3 is 6. All you're doing is multiply this over here, distributed, distributive property is employed. Now the below equation, write it as it is, it is minus 3x plus 4y equals 15. Now this multiplication part is done. Now we need to add them. So just add them up. Add the two equations plus 3x minus 3x. It will be 0. So this cancels. Now what over here? Plus them. So you don't change the sign. Only when you subtract the sign changes. So here it's going to be plus itself. 3 plus 4 is plus 7y equals 15 plus 6 is 20, 21. Now... All we do is take the 7. Now, this is 7y equals 21, isn't it? Divide both the sides by 7 or take 7 to the other side. It will be y equals 21 by 7. It is 7. Uh, 3 is our 21. Answer for y is 3. So, this is how we solve. Next, we found the y. All you do is substitute back into any of this equation. You will find x. That's it. Now, this part is over. I hope this is clear. You can pause the video, write this down. And then now what you do is, we know y is 3. So in the first equation, x plus y equals 2. Or you can even, the multiplied equation, whichever, it's fine. 3x three, plus 3y equals 6 was there, right? You can use that or you can use this. The answer will be the same. After the first step, what we just did, you need to write the first, any easier equation or simpler equation. This is much simple. Just write x as it is. But what is y? We found out it's 3 equals 2. Now take 3 to the other side and solve for x. It will be minus 3 plus 2. The answer for x is negative 1. And the final answer, sorry, over here would be x is minus 1 and y was 3. That's it. So you can do all this, say a weird also it's done the same way but in more detail, adding the equation you'll get 3 and then substitute in any one, you'll get the answer. So we they have used that multiplied equation, that's it. So same way you can try these as well, 
it'll be the uh, it's just the same thing but over here I'll just tell you it is better to stick with one variable I usually go for the first variable itself so now first let's see x and x so this is just x this is 7x I need to have different signs so what do I do to get this minus I need to multiply this entire equation by minus but it's not only minus then I need 7 as well right it should be minus 7 now when I multiply over here it will be minus 7x plus 7y and plus 87 is 56 over here you'll get and then you can cancel this and solve just like what, what we have done but uh, this is also again straightforward but over here now you have 6x and 3x what do you do there are many ways but the easier way is how much do you have to multiply to get 6 over here? Uh, focus on this. How much do you need to multiply to 3 to get 6? So I need, I need to multiply something. The answer must be 6. It, it is obviously, you have guessed it by now, it's 2. Or you can just do 6 divided by 3 is 2. So multiply 2 over here in the below equation. But it's not only 2, you need to multiply minus 2 because you need to have the opposite signs so here you multiply by minus 2 this equation will turn to minus 6x minus 4y plus equals sorry equals plus 30 why because you are multiplied minus 2 every way 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 and negative 15 times minus 2 is positive 30 and then the above equation over here is 6x plus y equals minus 39. All you do is add this equation. So this cancels. When you add this, you will have minus 3y equals minus 9. And then over here, y equals positive 3. That's how we can. You, you found out y. Put it back over here in any of this equation and solve for x. You will get the answer. So please do it by yourself. So we had, we had solved y was 3. So you have to put it back in one of the equation and you'll get x. It's very, very straightforward. Please make sure you do solve all of them by yourself and then check the answer. So whichever method is easier, just use that. Now over here, this is a bit more complicated, I feel. So what you can do is, there are many methods, but uh, the easier method would be since you you need to get the same variable and these are you know not easy to get if you multiply anything by seven you won't get eight it will be a fraction you need a whole number so what would you do in this case so what i would gen uh, what i would do is whatever this number is there multiply up whatever that number is there just multiply it up and whatever this number is there just multiply it down you're multiplying both the equations and changing them. And multiply a negative sign anywhere. I will just multiply a weird minus because one has to be minus, one has to be plus. Now, what happens is 8 times 7, it'll be minus 56x. Again, minus, plus and minus, it's 3 times 7 is 21y equals 7 times 7 is 49, minus and minus becomes plus. But it's not over. Even this equation needs to be multiplied because I got 56. Now let me multiply this over here. 7 times 8 is 56. Now it's positive 56x plus 16y equals 20 minus 24. Now add the equations up. Now when you add this cancels, you're remaining with minus 5y equals now... 25 25 yes positive 25 so y equals 25 divided by minus 5 would be minus 5 this is how we do it now once i found out y i will put it in any of the equations say for example 7x plus 2 instead of y i'll put the uh, value which we found minus 5 equals minus 3 and now all you do is take it to the other side and solve it. 7x over here it will be, pl sorry, equals minus 3. This would be minus 10. 
taking it to the other side, it will make it plus 10. Now it will be 7x equals 7. X is equal to 1. This is the answers. But you need to write it. Just multiply this and do this step. Over here, I'll just denote it in another color. So now from here, this is the starting step. Just do this. And then once you find it, solve this. This is it you need to write and solve it. This is one of the most complicated, pro I mean, most long problem among the questions they're going to ask. But still, that is very, very easy. Also, you can quickly check it out in your calculator just to double uh, cross verify your answers. That is more. We have got for minus phi and uh, x is 1 and minus phi. Let's just do it more. Phi and 1. Put in the coefficients. x is 8, 3, minus 7, 7, 2, minus 3. And you will get x is 1 and y is minus 5. The same answers which we had got as well. 1 and minus 5. But you cannot do it calculator. You can just check your answers using calculator. If your answers are wrong, you can try checking the steps. Some way you might have gone wrong. Do it carefully and you can easily solve it up. Do it by yourselves. All the problems in writing. And then check out the answers over here. All the answers are mentioned.